Do you have a tiny kitchen and struggle to find places to put everything? Well, great news, because in today's video, I'm showing you 10 space maximizing products that will transform even the smallest kitchen. Hi, I'm professional organizer, Katherine Lawrence. I help you live a life with less clutter so you can have space for the things that truly matter. Okay, let's take a look at our first product here, which is a cabinet door organizer. Now, when you're looking for this product, there are two types. There is this type that you will need to uh, use a screwdriver to just screw into the back of your cabinet. And then there is the type like this that hooks onto the back of the cabinet door. And so if you're renting an apartment or you're not comfortable uh, screwing anything directly into your cabinets, go ahead and opt for this type that hooks right over the cabinet door. And these are great for all kinds of things. Um, you can use them for wraps, you can use them for cleaning products, you can use them for, uh, here's cutting boards and spices. And basically you're just gonna add a basket to the inside of your cabinets. And they're pretty popular for under sink uh, cabinets. I tend to use those a lot as just an expansion, a place to put maybe cleaning sponges or, or something where you just need a little extra space. You really can just use them anywhere. Uh, make sure you have a little bit of space inside of the cabinet when you um, shut the door. They're, they are gonna take up a little bit of your inside space, but you are going to gain all of that space by maximizing all the vertical space of this cabinet. So uh, give that one a try. Okay, our next space maximizing product is a real simple one called Command Hooks. I'm sure you guys are familiar with these, those little sticky hooks. They have them in about 50 different varieties now based on weight, and you can get clear ones and white ones and green ones, and uh, they're just fantastic, again, for adding additional space in your kitchen. Um, I actually use this system here because I don't have a lot of drawer space in my kitchen and I don't want to have that big canister for my cooking tools. So you can just put a little individual hook and hang those tools right on the inside of your cabinet door. You can also use them on any wall to add storage space. And this is great for small tools, uh, measuring cups and prep tools and little cleaning products. And uh, there's, there's two, well, more than two really options. You can put them on the inside of the cabinet and then you can put them on the outside of the cabinet door and then just really anywhere where you have some vertical space. And just be mindful when you're putting anything that is a metal, like a, a prep tool or a measuring spoon, when you open that cabinet door, it is going to kind of clink around a little bit. So you might want to think about putting anything metal on a stationary spot like the outside of a cabinet or the very inside of the cabinet where you're not really going to be moving the hooks as you open the door. And this is a super affordable way to add space to your kitchen. Our third product is a shelf stacker. And so this is a little like miniature shelf that goes inside of your existing shelf. And I wanna draw your attention to this photo down here because this is, this is really the look that you are going for. That every inch inside of your cabinet is maximized. So we don't wanna have any wasted space inside of these cabinets. And a shelf stacker is going to allow you to do that because you're basically adding an additional shelf uh, on top of the you know three or four shelves that you already have in there. And that way you can maximize all of your space. So typically when you put something in your kitchen cabinet, uh, let's say it's a mug or a little stack of dishes, it's only about four inches tall, but you might have 15 inches of space inside of that cabinet. So if you're not maximizing that, you're really just wasting space. And so this is a really cheap little product that you can get um, Amazon or your local uh, home goods store, and you can just double your space inside of each of your cabinets. 
Our fourth maximizing product does something similar to that shelf stacker, and this is an under shelf basket. And so this allows you to use all of that space inside of your cabinet. Now I would opt to use this for maybe some softer items, uh, maybe food items or linens like they have pictured here. Uh, if I'm doing plates or something ceramic, I would probably use the shelf stacker and um, then use the baskets for extending your space that you would hold food storage, linens, or cleaning products. All right, our fifth maximizing your space product are mug hooks. And these are also called cup hooks, but you want to make sure that you get something that is wide enough to hook that mug handle on. Um, like this one right here is a, a little smaller for like a little, little teacup. And uh, they also have this option. I thought this, this was pretty cool. I, I usually just install individual cup hooks, but this is a little slider that you put inside your cabinet door so you don't have to use any screwdriver or put any holes into your cabinets. So that is another option, getting one of these that you just slide in. And uh, don't forget, you can also put these underneath a cabinet. So this is not inside of the cabinet. This is underneath your uh, cabinet, and that helps maximize all of that space from the kitchen counter to the base of that cabinet. So there's a lot of hidden space right there uh, underneath that cabinet that is infrequently used but your mug hooks will help you reclaim all of that space. Okay, number six is our stemware rack. And this is similar to the mug hooks, but these are designed to hold your wine glasses, martini glasses, champagne glasses, any type of stemmed barware should fit perfectly in these. Um, so in this example, we're using, just like our mug hooks, we're using that under cabinet space. So these are actually mounted underneath of the cabinets. And then we also have the option here where you don't need to use any hardware because this is just gonna slide onto that, the base of that cabinet. What I like about stemware racks is wherever you install these, it could be like an instant bar setup. So even if you had a shelf that was just right outside of your kitchen or you're trying to um, maybe your kitchen is too small to store your stemware and you want to move that into the living room or dining room or another sort of area. Putting this um, stem rack, adding that to a little shelf, it's an instant bar. And so you can pull those glasses out of your cabinet, put them somewhere else, and then uh, maximize that space in your kitchen. All right, moving on to number seven is a pot rack. And this will maximize the space in your kitchen by hanging your pots and pans and lids outside of the kitchen cabinet. It can take one, two, sometimes three or four cabinets to store all of your pots and pans. So by adding a pot rack, you are going to eliminate the need for those base cabinets to store your pots and pans and lids. So you may be familiar with the type that hang from the ceiling and those have little hooks to hang your uh, pots and may, well mainly your pans or small pots from and then this upper piece you can put a pot there or the lids so you it's really adding a shelf and hanging space but i want you to take a look at this option as well which is a wall mounted pot rack. And I've used this in a couple of different kitchens myself. And I like that it just goes right up against any wall because sometimes finding ceiling space can be a little tricky because you have light fixtures and other things that you're working around. Uh, but I like this wall mounted option and then you can put your full set of pans there and then put your pots on top uh, or your lids. Our eighth product to help you maximize space in your kitchen 
is a product not made for kitchens at all, and that is a shoe organizer. And these organizers hang behind the door, and you can, they come with like these little hooks here to hang them on the door, and they usually have 12 pockets, and they come in two types. They come in a plastic type, and they come in a cloth type. And it's, it's kind of your preference, you know, if you want to have that clear uh, little window so you can see exactly what is in uh, the shoe organizer, you might want to opt for the plastic. If you're using a lot of glass or something that might be kind of sticky, you may want to opt for the cloth because sometimes that um, can get just it's just a little hard to pull things out if it's something that's going to stick to that plastic. Uh, but these are great for extending space for food storage um, or any type of just little tool or product that you want to have room for. So if you have a kitchen door or um, maybe you have a pantry and but it's too small, you can add this to any door uh, near or around your kitchen and that will give you 12 pockets to put all kinds of things in like food storage or cleaning products or just anything that you need extra space for to store in your kitchen. All right, number nine on our list is a rolling cart. Now this is really the only thing on this list of 10 items that would really count as any major uh, purchase. Um, you can definitely spend a lot of money on these guys, 50 bucks, 200 bucks, um, but they add so much space to your kitchen. Uh, these little guys here, I like these a lot. I mean, this is like adding an entire cabinet in your kitchen. Uh, but think about this type as well, or anything rolling that has that little top to it, because now you're adding counter space to your kitchen. So you can add these as kitchen islands um, into your floor plan. And so now you're creating cabinet storage as well as adding surface space. So when I've had a tiny kitchen in the past, and actually I still use it even though I have a good sized kitchen, I use these as extra counter space and I have one with a butcher's block so I can use it as a rolling cutting board. I think that's what this one is for too. So if you find that you don't have a lot of prep space, in your kitchen for you know, chopping and, and preparing meals, you may wanna look into one of these that has that cutting board on top because now you've added that surface workspace to your kitchen. But if you're just looking to have extra storage for um, dishes or food items, this little, little cart here will do a lot of work for you with those three shelves. For our last item, number 10 is pegboard. And this has been around a long time. I don't know if you guys have ever seen like Julia Child's kitchen, but she was pretty famous for having that pegboard up and then she would even outline every item so you would know exactly where it was put back. Um, I've never done that myself, but what a great way to stay organized. Uh, so you're probably familiar with pegboard, you've seen it in garages, and uh, it's really inexpensive to purchase in, it's usually in four by four sections at your hardware store, and you install that on the wall, and then make sure you get the type of pegs that match the pegboard. There are actually different sizes uh, of those holes and how close they are together, so it's good to get your pegboard and your pegs in the same place and make sure that they are the same size. And sky's the limit with pegboard. Um, we see it here for pots and pans, uh, prep tools, uh, here again with cooking tools. So if you have a wall in your kitchen or near your kitchen and you do not have a lot of cabinet space for tools and, and all of these things, pegboard can be a great uh, option for you to maximize that space. You can put it on the you know, back of a cabinet or um, 
I've done it on any exposed wall that I have in the kitchen and um, just a fantastic space maximizing tool. Love that pegboard. So what are you struggling with in your tiny kitchen? Let me know in the comments below so that I can answer those questions in future videos. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to my channel for more tips on organizing, decluttering, downsizing, and minimizing. I'll see you next time.